Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to enable TPM 2.0 in any motherboard or any Windows. So first of all, you're gonna have to do is go to Windows settings. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to check if your TPM 2.0 is enabled or disabled. So right click on your uh, Windows button and go to device manager. After that, go to security devices and you will see no TPM device is here or you guys can also right click on it and click on run and also type tpm.ex uh, sorry msc and also you can see compatible TPM cannot be found so it's confirmed that my TPM is disabled so first of all you're gonna have to go to settings you're gonna have to find recovery recovery options after you get to the recovery options you will see this advanced setup and you're gonna have to click on restart i'm gonna switch to my phone camera now on my phone you're gonna have to click on this restart button and click on restart and it will restart your pc After the restart, you will see these options. And you're gonna have to go to Troubleshoot Advanced Options and click on UEFI Firmware Settings. Click on Restart. And this will open up your BIOS settings. After you get to the BIOS settings, you're gonna have to go to Peripherals. On the top you will see AMD CPU FTPM. If you have any other motherboard, your BIOS settings overlay will be changed from this, but settings will be same. So you guys have to find FTPM. It will be named as FTPM. After that, click on it and click on enable. After enabling it, go to BIOS scroll down go down until you see csm sport click on it and disable it and at the last you will get this option after disabling this secure boot click on it again click on it and click on enable now go to save and exit oh, after restarting my pc we're gonna recheck our tpm 2.0 is enabled or not Go to device manager, go to security devices. So as you guys can see, trusted platform module 2.0 is added here, which means TPM 2.0 is enabled. This is the full form of TPM, trusted platform module TPM 2.0. We're going to also check from run tpm.msc you guys can see if you scroll to the right you will see your TPM manufacturer information the version of is 2.0 so that's a guide hope this video helps you make sure to subscribe my channel and like the video see you in the next video bye guys